So hello everyone. Welcome to this another video of this channel. I'm Abhishek Verma and you are watching Spring Basics with Spring Boot series. So so far in this series we have seen so many interesting features and today also I'm going to show you one more feature related with Spring Boot. But believe me, this is not a complex feature and generally you don't need this kind of feature in your code also. But this is something for your fun only. And also it is going to enhance your application basically when you will show it to your manager. So generally what happens is that here whenever we are starting a Spring Boot application, so the Spring Boot banner appears. So in today's video, we will see how we can remove that banner completely. And then we will also see that how we can customize the banner if required. So without wasting any more time, let's directly get started. So now we are in the IDE guys. And as always, first of all, what we have done is that we have copied the previous demo and recreated a new one. Now in this one, first of all, let's check whether this is working fine or not as always. So we'll just go here and let me just start this demo number 17. So currently you see that this demo is getting started here and currently you see that okay this is just simply working fine this is demo this is main thread which means I'm not making usage of dev tools here I'm not making usage of any AOP or testing or any other things here logger is getting implemented by default and if I will just say here let's say 11 or 12 something like this so this is how it is getting stopped but as I mentioned to you that today's video is going to be interesting now today the main goal is not to talk about any business logic or any other kind of functionality or feature but this is just a kind of a fun video. Now generally as I told you earlier also that what happens is that whenever we are starting the application basically a Spring Boot application we are getting some this kind of a banner where on the top it says that okay this is Spring and then it is a Spring Boot and this is the version. So this is how it is going to look like. So now let's see that how we can remove this particular part from the application. So first of all, let's check for this one. Now what we can do is I'll just take you here on this particular one. So this is basically from the Spring Boot website. Now many times people ask me that, okay, how do you remember so many things? So the answer is that first of all, it is first of my experience. Okay. So I'm having almost more than seven years of experience. So first of all, that is helping me here. Second thing is that besides this also whenever required, I read these documentations and everything. So here, since there are so many properties, what I'll do is I'll just say here control F and I will search for this banner here. So when I say banner, then you see that for this banner, I'm getting few properties and believe me, there are only three properties here. These two we will discuss later and let me directly jump on to this last property. So what I'll do is I'll copy this property from here, spring main banner mode. I will come to this one. And let me take you on to this SRC main resources and application.yml. What I'll simply do is I'll paste it here. So this is how it is going to look like. Now since it is YAML, so let me just do something like this here guys so that it works fine. So here, yeah, now I guess this M is just beyond this A and I will take it to the next line, something like this one and to this space. And here, let me say this banner mode. Now the by default value for this banner mode, if you see this value is console. So this is how the value is going to look like the console. And beside this, there can be three values of console and log. So you see that generally only this banner is appearing in the console. Whenever you are logging something, then this banner doesn't appears in the log file. Okay. Because if there also you want, you can go with the log, but generally why do you want a banner in the log file? That's why we don't go. And in case you just want to simply make it off, so you can just call it as off. So we will just say here as off. Yeah. So now if I will just try to restart the application from here, so let me just go and I'm restarting. So currently you see now there is no banner. So now this is the starting of your application guys. Yeah. So this is a way that how you can stop or how can you remove the banner from your application. So that is the number one thing for the day. But as of now, let's remove this particular property so that it goes to the default console only. I mean, why should we write it on our own? Now let's talk about another property of it. That is how we can change the banner on our own also. For this, the property is spring banner location. So there is this kind of a property. And for this, the by default value is class path colon banner.txt. 
Now we can assume that this kind of banner is already available in the parent project. Yes, but now let's say I want some banner on my own. So what I will do is I will create a file here. So I'll just go to this particular one and here what I'll do is not on this main, but basically under the resources. So I'll go here and I'll create a file and I will call it as banner.txt. In case you say, no, I want to go with a different name. Then the simple rule is that first of all, you need to add that particular property here that is spring banner location. And then you need to give the name. Yes. But as of now, let's make it simple. Now what I will do here is I will call here my name. So let me just say here as Abhishek, something like this. Yeah. And now let me just give it a start. So now you see that first of all, I have removed that particular thing so that by default, it will show you the banner and we won't make any more changes here. And in the banner.txt, now if I just bring it on top, you see here it is showing my name. Now this is your banner. So instead of spring and everything, it is showing your name. But obviously you don't want it to look like this. I mean, now you may say that, okay, Abhishek, why to make usage of banner for this? If you just want to print it like this, you can just go in your this particular main and here on the start, you can just say says out Abhishek and then also it can work. We want to see that kind of colors and everything, that kind of graphics and everything. So how to do that particular thing? So for this, what you can do here simply is that there is another website and this website is also very uh, general here that is DevOps and this date and this particular one is there. Okay. This I guess is a German website here by the name of dot uh, DE. That's why I'm assuming here. Yeah. So what we can do here is that from here we can generate a banner. So here, let me just say here something which you guys generally don't do. So let me try to say here, subscribe. Maybe after seeing this thing here, you will start subscribing me. So here, the moment I say subscribe, then it will show me like this. Yeah. So whatever the word you will type here, that will come up here. Yes. Now you will say that, okay, Abhishek, this is not looking nice. So if you wish, you can just change it. So let's say we will go for this, but this is still looking odd. Let's go for the shadow. Now I hope it is looking like subscribe and something. And then there is another option, which I found was that there is this versity. So this I found is more better. Otherwise you also can try and then you let me know that which banner font we should use here. Okay. So you can comment in the chats that which banner font we should be using. Now, beside this banner, what I also want is I want other things like what is my application title and something. If you want any extra thing, you can just provide it here. So whenever you say, will, you will say dollar and everything, then it will automatically take the name of your application, the version and all other things. If you don't want, you just remove it like this that you don't want in case here you want to add, let's say something else. So you just say here and you will just print. So same thing will appear here. So this is your choice, whatever you want to print here. So as of now, let's go for this one. Now what I'll do here is I will just copy this, just a simple copy, nothing else. So we'll copy here. I will go to this one and I will paste it here. So now it is going to look like this. Now you will see that it is saying you subscribe. So I hope now you will subscribe. So now let's see what it will do guys. So let me just go here and let me just stop it once. I have not added that tools here. Otherwise I guess it would have restarted it on its own. So here, let me go and start this manually. So now when I'm starting it, so now it says this is subscribe. Then there is this empty line here because here also we have spent one empty line here. Then currently there is no application title and version because these variables we didn't create it. Hence this is showing as an empty line because you were not having here. But instead of this, what we were having is spring application name. So let me take that particular one and let me see here spring dot application. And then here, let me write as name. So let me write it like this. Now let's see whether this is going to work or not. So I have just saved it. Let me just stop it again and let's restart this particular one and see whether that will appear or not. So now you see it is able to read the value. So automatically from your application YAML or application properties, it will pick this particular one. And then beside this, it says powered by Spring Boot and automatically Spring Boot version it has taken. Yeah. From where it has taken the Spring Boot version from this particular one. So from this particular version, it has taken your Spring Boot version and this is the default value. So this way, if you wish, you can change the banner 
and in case if you are changing the banner then you should remember that okay you need to subscribe to this channel also now you will say abhishek basically where it is helpful so as i mentioned you in this video we are not going to talk about any business logic or anything as such so this is just for fun kind of thing also this looks more fancy and more better when you say that i have created my own application it's a very big application so if it's a very big application it should have its own banner so you can just add it like this and use it for fun guys yeah and if you wish you can use these things in the logs also so there also you can enable i have already told you how to do that particular thing so now see you in the next video guys thanks everyone